Before we move on to the three final components of flash exposure, let's take a moment and talk about what is a stop of light. A stop isn't a specific amount of light, instead it's a measurement between the differences of the amount of light. Simply put, it's a measurement of halves. In order to gain one stop of light, you need to double the amount of light. In order to lose one stop of light, you need to half the amount of light. The increments on your photographic equipment is based on stops of light. The first thing we want to look at is flash power. How does flash power play into all of this? Do you really even need to know anything about flash power? Can I just control my light by my aperture? These are all real good questions, but by understanding flash power, I once again increase my exposure options. When learning to shoot with flash, it's best to learn with your flash in the manual mode so that you can shoot consistently and you have all the control. Each increment or power setting on your flash is one stop of light. If the power on our flash is set at one to one or full power, and we want to lose one stop of light, we could decrease the power by one half. One half of the light is one stop. Now, if we went down to a quarter power, we've halved the light again, and we lost another stop. From a quarter, we can go to an eighth. From an eighth, a sixteenth. From a sixteenth to a thirty-second. Every time we cut the power in half, we lose another stop of light. Another way to put it is if I started at eighth power and I needed two more stops of light, I would simply go from an eighth to a quarter to a half. And I just gain back that two stops of light. Now you see how easy that is? I can now gain or lose stops of light simply by increasing or decreasing my flash power rather than to continually mess with my aperture. Flash power is just one more tool to put in the toolbox. Here's a perfect example. I love to shoot portraits just wide open from 2.8 to 5.6. The problem is flash tends to blow the subject out at these wider apertures. But by controlling my flash power, I can easily turn my flash down to 128th power and get all the benefits of flash, color, contrast, sharpness, and still shoot at those low apertures. This is why flash power is so important. Again, more options.